Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn sales navigator, strategist, trainer, and coach. And I've discovered over the last year some of the biggest mistakes people are doing using LinkedIn as a business tool. And I want to share with you what 20 of them are so that hopefully you never make these mistakes. Here's number one. Your contact information is from your previous job. Your phone number, your email address, and the website. Oh my gosh, that's a huge failure. Another one. Your LinkedIn invite is nothing more than a sales pitch. Nobody wants a sales pitch in their invite. You're a serial liker. All you do is hit that like button. Maybe you use the emoticons, but you're just like and like and like and like and it does not help build your brand. You have no recent activity. When you go look at your LinkedIn profile, you've done nothing. It's horrible. You're a project manger, a pubic relations professional, a vice president, a content writer, or an editor. Check your spelling. Don't get embarrassed. You accept every single LinkedIn invite you get. Oh, man, that's failure. You've never engaged one-on-one -on -one with any of your LinkedIn connections. You don't even know the difference between a most important viewer, a target audience, an influencer, or just some Tom, Dick, and Harry you connect with. And they don't either. You're sending out LinkedIn invites with reckless abandon to people who don't know you. Your LinkedIn profile looks like a deserted island. It has nothing on it. Nothing relevant to who you are today. The only thing you do on LinkedIn is share your company page content over and over and over again. That won't help won't work. You show up on LinkedIn once a month because you manage to find a little bit of time just to stop by and see if there's something that you should do. It won't work. You spend hours every day scrolling through the LinkedIn newsfeed and doing nothing else but scroll. The only time you update your LinkedIn profile content is when you get a new job. You list every job you've had since you left high school on your LinkedIn profile. You use your HR assigned title as your headline and your experience title. You have no idea how to effectively use LinkedIn search. The skills you show on your LinkedIn profile are irrelevant to what you do today. Your most recent LinkedIn recommendation is 15 years old back when you were doing that job that has nothing to do with what you do today. You can't recall the password to your LinkedIn account. And you don't worry about it because it's stored in my browser. And like, that'll never go away. Other LinkedIn members look at your LinkedIn profile or engage on your LinkedIn content and you ignore it. These are of 20 of some of the biggest mistakes that I've noticed in the past year. Please don't make these mistakes in 2022 and beyond. Start today using LinkedIn as a business tool. If you're not sure how to do it, maybe we should talk. I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn and sales navigator, strategist, trainer, and coach. Welcome to the new year. Welcome to potentially doing things better than you did last year.